Hello viewers, this is Herot Linea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. In the previous episode, we restored the light to the Pharaoh's beacon, we recruited Tornico to Loon, and we got his brand new ship as our newest mode of transportation. So we're going to do a little exploring now. There's a little bit of that desert to the north that we didn't fill in earlier, so we'll do that right quick. And we'll run into a few sweaty yetis, two of them. Yes, that cautery sword is much better with hair rot. is defeated. Get in there. And here we are in a door, but I want it to be daytime. Thank you. I'll be back. Hello, Tessie. There you are, you old fiend. Welcome back. Oh, I, I've been grand altogether. I'm only waiting here watching me hairs turn grey while you go off hunting your dreams. Hello, Tipper. Da, you're home again. I, I've been a good lad, Da, I promise. I'm gonna make a mountain of gold when I'm older. You and Ma will have everything you could ever want. And she is now running Rainbows and Gold Bank. Gold deposited here will be protected in case you fall in battle. But I don't plan on falling in battle. Just hang on to it. That and I'll want to spend some of it pretty soon. Might as well zoom back to Porth Tronel. Because as Tornico suggested, we're going to sail south first. that we want to visit. But first we run into a couple of skeleton swordsmen. Boneheads. This is the town of Mentos. Uh, Hank seems to realize something. Hey, I think I know this place. Why, I surely do know it. This here is Mentos, as in Mentos, home of the infamous Conrad Ilton. Folks call him the god of trade, you know. What's up, Hank? Gee, um, this may come a bit sudden for y'all, but... You know I've had a haul killing time traveling around with you fine people, and for that I'll always be mighty thankful. 
but it's my dream to follow in my daddy Hank Hoffman Sr.'s footsteps and open up a fine inn of my own. Mentos is home to the god of trade, Conrad Ilton. He's ace high, and that's for sure. It'd be fine as cream gravy if I could learn a thing or two from him. I know it's a mite selfish of me and all, but I gotta ask you anyway, hey Rot? Would it be okay with if you, if we parted ways, it'd mean the world for me to stay here? Sure, you can stay. Why, thank you. I'll never forget you folks, you hear? And I'll never forget how important it is to have faith in your fellow man, neither. You take care now, Mary Lou. I'll be praying for y'all to have a safe trip. All right, Hank. We'll see you later. All right, welcome to Mentos. No doubt you're here to see the famous Conrad Ilton, eh? People come from all over the world to hear him lecture. He's the hero of traitors everywhere. That foreign priest staying at the inn is in a right old state. What he needs is some fever few roots. Blimey, if you could get some of that and sell it, you'd make a fortune. So where can we find that stuff? Welcome to the armor shop. What do you have available? Full plate armor, eh? Iron helmets. See, I will get a suit of full plate armor for hair rot. No one else can equip it. Maybe an iron helmet or two. We'll give the first one to Tornico. The other in the bag since Herod's inventory is full. I will sell off the hardwood headwear. Yep. And Herod's iron armor and hardwood headwear. Yep, take it. I'll give Herod the Iron Helmet and equip it. And now for the... Okay. Just making sure there was nothing else to sell. Now at the weapon shop. have cautery swords here. I will get one for Tornico, because I took the other one away from him and gave it to Heorot. That should be good for now. I'll sell off the iron lance. Stock up on a few provisions here at the item shop. Some medicinal herbs. Too bad you can't get stacks of more than 30 in one transaction, but that's okay. in case of paralysis. A few more antidotal herbs, maybe. Thank you kindly. Go 
see what this Conrad Ilton is about. Conrad Ilton used to be an adventurer back in his day. He collected all sorts of treasures and then made a fortune by selling them off. Conrad. He's the best businessman in the world, I reckon. That guy is asleep. My father's a trader, don't you know? That's why I'm here, trying to learn a bit about business. It's hard to imagine what the man next to me is gaining from all this, mind you. Old Elton is a real interpreter. I mean, entrepreneur. Er, he certainly knows a thing or two when it comes to business, anyway. He reckons you gotta sell ideas to people. Howdy there, Harrot. I've already been learning heaps of stuff from old Conrad Elton over there. He's dreadful clever. He says business ain't just about money, it's about putting a smile on folks' faces, too. Now ain't that nice? You what? You want to ask if I'm the geezer who knows a lot about the ocean? You want to say no here? Nice answer. Yep, I don't only know about the ocean. I know everything there no is to know about everything. The name's Conrad Ilton. That's Ilton with an H. I'd say you've got promise, son. So, reckon your game? Wanna have a bash at my little test? Sure, why not? Nice! Here's the question. What's the single most important thing when it comes to business? And Herod says, nothing. I couldn't have said it better myself. You're right. Silence is golden, as they say. Huh? Tell you what, I'll give you me old treasure map for doing so well. I come across it when I was a nipper, but I never did figure out where the treasure was. Is that so? It's yours. So now we get the treasure map. Maybe you'll be find, able to find the treasure, eh? You should give it a go. Alright, Mr. Hilton. First, we'll explore your town. At the bottom of this well, we get another mini metal. That's nice. Now we're up to seven. Hello, kitty. Wanna go in the well? That barrel contains a seed of resilience. And that barrel by the end contains a moonport bulb. People call him the god of trade, but I, so I had to come and see what was so special. But he's just a wrinkly old man. Conrad Elton's his name. He's, give, he's giving a lecture on that platform over there. Excuse me. Mintos may be a big place now, but it was nothing before Conrad Elton came along. He's the one who built that lovely inn of ours, and once he did, it wasn't long before travelers started flocking here. The place transformed into a prosperous town almost overnight, and it's all thanks to Mr. Elton. And another mini metal is in that pot there. That makes number eight. Let's check out this house. When I was a bit younger, I was really ill just like that bloke at the inn. But then some woman from Parthenia came along and gave me some fever fuel root. I was right as rain in no time. Anything on the bookshelves? Nothing interesting, I see. But that wardrobe contains a, a scale shield. We're blooming good, eh? We're up and out with the housework, see? That's nice. You're not tearing up the house. Let's check out this other house here. 
I had a bash at old Dilton's test, you know. I still ain't figured out the answer, though. I really wanted that treasure map and all. Anything in these wardrobes? Nope. I think we'll come to find out, though, that that treasure is not terribly earthly. If you're looking for a room, you've come to the right place. That's good to hear. It's a minstrel. On the southeastern side of the Siroc continent lies the tiny empire of Parthenia, renowned for its miraculous medicinal crops. When I mentioned it to the princess who was staying at the inn, she dashed off without another word. A princess? Phew! I'm well and truly dragged out, yes siree. That old man Ilton sure has a tough old way of dealing with folk. Maybe I've done good and made a mistake coming to be his apprentice and all. So there was a princess here, huh? Might as well stay here. Yes. We shall be staying. Thank you, Mr. Innkeeper. Let us go upstairs. Anything on the bookshelf? Ah, Chapter 3 of the Quest for the Magical Staff. I am Rowan the Wandering Wandsman. I now find myself in a town rumored to have links to the ma magical staff I'm searching for. I asked around the moment I arrived to see if the townsfolk knew where I could find it. Unfortunately, my journey isn't over yet. It seems that the object of my quest isn't here in town after all. No, apparently it's hidden in a cave nearby. I ask you, whatever is the world coming to? Why ever do people insist on hiding such precious things in caves of all places? Now I'm in a real fix. There's nothing I loathe and detest more than caves, and that's a fact. You call yourself an adventurer. That pot contains a seed of wisdom. Just chuck it in the bag with everything else. Nobody in this room. Let's check out the roof. There's nobody up there at the moment. But, ooh, a familiar face. Carol seems a bit poorly. As you are seeing, my traveling fellow is very sickened. Our mistress, the royal Tsarevna Elena, is gone alone to locate medicines. I am concerning for her safety also. I know it is eccentric to request favor from strange person, but I am seeing you have kind heart. Will you locate Tsarevna for me and give to her some assistance? Certainly. Yoy, thank you so very much. I am dubbed Boria. I will also accompany with you. Alright, so Old Man Borya joins the party. Of course, it might be just as well if he stayed here to look after Carol. Very well. I'm going a little advanced to request from Innkeeper Nursing of Kirill. I am waiting afterwards that you come out to wagon. See you momentarily. So Borya heads outside. Urgh. Unfortunately, the items in Elena's party's bag do not get transferred to the Herod's bag right away. That's not good. Means we don't have much of anything for Borya at the moment. But that is easily remedied. The things for him are fairly inexpensive. We can't use the nightlight here. And nothing here will work for poor Borya. His weapon selection and armor selection is pretty limited. Bad. So let us go out.
out of town so we can ignite our night light. Suddenly night descends. Go into the village. Ah, 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 too. It's a bit of a chilly night, eh? Still, welcome to Mintos and all that. Thank you. Huh? Looks like I must have been asleep. That old man's lecturing is enough to start anyone off counting sheep. Well, ain't no use in fighting it, I suppose. Kip time. Night night. Hello, kitty. Are you lecturing now? I'm beat. It's mighty fine to be able to cool off my heels at long last. Drumming up business ain't as easy as it looks. That new apprentice, Hank Hoffman Jr., sure works real hard. He goes picking Ilton's brains even after he's done a hard day's work. Hick, hick, hick. I've been done smiling all day long and now my body's really kicking up a row. The most important rule of business is keeping a smile on your face by hook or by crook, but it sure ain't easy. I've been thinking to myself about becoming one of Ilton's apprentices, like... I don't know, though. It looks like bleeding hard work. Maybe I ain't cut out for it. Well, not everyone can be a salesman. I know, because I'm not one. Our few... Up on the roof, Hoffman is with Conrad. I opened up me in thinking I could pick travelers' brains about where that treasure on me map might be. But I reckon I'm probably rich enough now, eh? I ain't got time to bother with treasures no more. Sounds like the start of old man Ilton's success was built on in an inn right here. That sure gets me thinking. What are you thinking about, Hank? thinking about maybe setting up a settlement of your own somewhere, huh? There was a tough bloke here a while back called Ragnar or the like. Ragnar, huh? Bit like you he was, traveling here from a long way away. My hometown lies far to the south of the Siroc continent, you don't you know? We have a small but rather grand castle, even if I do say so myself. It's been some time since I was last there. I do hope they've managed to cultivate some fever few by now. Has there been some problem with their fever few crop? Truth is, ever since the first time I saw you... Please, my child, say no more. I am promised to the goddess. save our game. In the next video, we will venture south towards the empire of Parthenia and see what a mighty empire it is. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.